42, something new. American Animals, which is dramatisation of this real-life case from I don't know, 2004, when some young men attempted to steal incredibly rare and valuable books from the library at Transylvania University in Kentucky. So... Um, it's called Transylvania University. Yeah, bizarre, I know. Very, very strange. Pardon me, boys, this is the Transylvania Choo Choo, track 29, can I give you a shine? Um, so, like Touching the Void, it has dramatic uh, reconstructions interspersed with interviews, and like, with real interviews with the river, and like I, Tonya, it has interviews giving slightly conflicting versions of what you're seeing on screen. So you get the idea of unreliable narrators and that what you're, what you're watching is a version of a version. So Barry Keoghan is uh, Spencer, who is this student who is doing well, but is essentially underwhelmed and disappointed by student life. He meets up with Warren, played by Evan Peters, who is described by one of the uh, elders in the film as somebody who adds spice, who brings spice to any situation. He's on an athletic scholarship and he is similarly becalmed. So did you meet any new cool people over there? No, bunch of jocks. You? No. Uh-uh. It's not what I thought it would be. Ever wonder if he ended up being born you here and not someone else? Or you ever feel like you're you're waiting for something to happen? But you don't know what it is. But it's, that thing that could uh, make your life special. Yeah. Like what? Exactly. Like what? And the what is that they decide the thing that will make their life special is by deciding to pull off a heist, which neither of them have any idea how to do. Also, they begin by saying, well, the whole thing is that we won't hurt anybody, but they have no idea how that's actually going to be possible. And, of course, they then need to recruit others to get involved in it, so the gang ends up going from two to four, and there's inter scene rivalries. The film is directed by uh, Bart Layton, who you may remember you interviewed um, when he made The Imposter, the documentary The Imposter, for four years ago, very, you know, maybe longer than 2014, a very, very odd film, a kind of like a real day return of Martin Guerre. Do you remember, remember the interview? Uh, yes, uh, I don't recognise that reference that you made, but was that the story of was, was a I, guy who was who came back into a family looked nothing like the person he was supposed and to be and had a completely different accent and said that he yeah. was the exactly and yet yeah. and yet they went along with it yeah exactly so um, so that was a, a very strange documentary. What this does is it straddles documentary and drama, and I think it interweaves them rather well. Firstly, it does a very good job of showing how these characters talk themselves into doing something because essentially they're bored and listless and they don't think their lives are going anywhere. So they, it happens more by default than anything else. There's a lovely scene in which they they realise that they don't know how to do a heist. So they sit down with a shelf load of videos like Reefy Fee and Point Break and things like that, which is funny because, you know, that was something that I, in that television series that I made recently. We had talked about exactly how... You know, those these films lay down the blueprint, and the, in the case of this, it's actually looking at this. And at the beginning of the film, it makes it very clear that this isn't based on truth. This is a true story because you keep cutting back to the real people telling their versions of the story. There's something of good time in just the level of sheer bungling incompetence involved in the heist. But I think the thing that I liked was that. The film does know when to tip over into something quite horrible because in order to do the heist, they have to, they have to in their words, they have to, to, to deal with the librarian. And the whole thing about it's possible to pull off a crime without anybody, you know, getting her. And it is, you suddenly realise what it is that they've, they've got themselves into. And the film does, it's like watching a car crash in slow motion in which you're hearing people recounting the events and slightly appalled by the by their own actions and by their by their you know at one point you know they, they, there are some tears are shed but also it's kind of the, the the actual high sequence is very tense but 
it's the it's the milieu it's the sense of the characters being being becalmed being adrift feeling that they they need something to make their life special and they can't figure out what it is and somehow not a folie a deux or folie a trois folie a quatre it's it, it's the group of them who talk themselves into doing something which is the folie a quatre well i I'm, understand I'm just, what it means but how does that well you know a folie a deux that's something that two people do that one person wouldn't do but it's the combination of the two of them that do what i mean is that there's a group of four that they they all sort of talk they all together end up doing something that yeah. that all individually they would you know they wouldn't and shouldn't do i mean i thought it worked it worked rather well because it takes this sort of the the flatness the drabness the unexceptionality of their individual lives and then then it shows you how that they literally tr are trying to do something that will make them special and like i said it's like it is like watching a car crash in slow motion and what I like about it is that it, it, there are things in it that are disturbing, along with that, you know, that thing of sometimes you, you, you see a movie which is about like teenage alienation in which you can describe it as like looking at a, at a scene through a car window as if, as if you're one removed. There is a strange sense of removed reality. It's a very haunting film, very haunting, very odd, very strange. And What's I it think called again? Company. It's called American Animals. 